Proper use of sanitary facilities, meaning hand washing and toilet facilities, can decrease the risk of foodborne illnesses associated with human fecal material. On the farm, it is everybody's responsibility to use proper hygiene and hand washing practices. Having and using the proper sanitary facilities in order to apply these practices is essential. Produce contamination has been linked to human and other wastes in the field or packing facility. Providing accessible and well-supplied sanitary facilities can discourage urination or defecation somewhere else, such as in the fields. Everybody should understand the impacts of poor sanitary practices on food safety. Effective policies need to address the possible contamination links between proper hygiene and the facilities that support these practices. This look at contamination risks from field to family protects not only the workers, but also consumers from potentially severe illnesses. Management should include policies that educate employees, in the appropriate language, on how the proper use of sanitary facilities can help reduce the spread of pathogens from human fecal material. There should be enough facilities for all employees and visitors to promote correct bathroom and hand washing practices. According to the Occupational Safety and Health Act, OSHA, management is required to provide one toilet facility and one hand washing facility for each 20 employees. Management should provide accessible facilities within a quarter mile with potable water, soap, disposable towels, toilet paper, a waste container, and have proper waste and spill removal. The use of signs as visual reminders on the proper use of facilities, such as disposing of all used toilet paper into the toilet and washing your hands after using the toilet, can advance the implementation of training messages. As workers, going to the bathroom in the field represents a direct contamination risk for the fruits and vegetables growing in the field. Runoff, foot, and equipment traffic can all spread pathogens associated with your bathroom use. Using sanitary facilities that do not have liquid soap, water, single-use towels, and a waste basket does not allow you to properly dispose of your waste and clean up after. The physical toilet should not be used in a manner that can break or promote contamination. You should not stand on toilets. Not using the designated waste containers for capture and proper disposal of waste represents risks. This includes placing used toilet paper into trash cans. The bathroom and hand washing facilities should be made available by management. It is your responsibility to use them. If the hand washing and toilet facilities are not properly stocked, tell your supervisor immediately. Keeping the bathroom clean, not leaving any toilet paper on the floor, placing used toilet paper directly into the toilet and feminine products directly into the trash cans can help in reducing the potential for contamination. Water used in the sanitary facilities, whether it is in the toilet or in the sink, should be considered wastewater. Do not step into puddles and report any leaking or spills to your supervisor. Remember that employing proper glove replacement and hand washing techniques after visits to the sanitary facilities helps to reduce the spread of pathogens associated with your waste. Everyone is responsible for using the bathroom properly and in the most hygienic manner. No one wants to be responsible for spreading germs and making other people sick. Using the bathroom in a proper manner and continually washing your hands anytime they get dirty is a good practice to reduce the presence of pathogens.